How do I find marketing articles? Part two. So now that we're inside the Business Source Complete Database, I'll point out a few key things about the layout and the navigation so that you'll feel confident when you start your research. At the top of the database homepage, you'll see boxes where you can enter in your search words. Each box has a drop-down menu, which um, you can use to search a particular field within an article's record. Fields include things like article title, um, author, uh, subject term, um, publication title for when there's a specific uh, magazine or journal that you want to search in. Um, since Business Source Complete is a business database, you'll see special options for things like company entity or company name, uh, ticker symbol, or NAICS code. You don't have to use the drop downs, but using them correctly can make your search more precise and give you more relevant results. Using them incorrectly, however, can really mess up your search. So especially when you're just starting out, um, you can always use the default of so select a field and the database will search your keyword in any of the article's fields and in the full text of the article. I'll enter a search for mobile marketing and hotels because I'm looking for articles on trends in this area. I want to only type in words that are important to my research question. All the rest will just make my search results less relevant. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like Google, and it will think that little words like how or what are just as important as your other search words. Below the boxes where you enter your search words, you'll see options to limit your search results. Again, you don't have to use any of these options. You could simply hit search and start to look through your search results. You can also apply filters after you hit search, and I'll show you that in just a bit. Um, but here are two of the more popular filters that students might want to use. By clicking full text, the database will limit your search results to only articles you can read right away, usually as a PDF file. For marketing articles, I typically don't recommend uh, selecting the scholarly option. That will limit your search results to articles written by academic researchers for academic researchers. It will eliminate any results written by your typical marketers, marketing firms, or marketing journalists. By entering in a publication date, you can limit to results published within a particular time frame, perhaps just the past three or five years. Then I'm going to click search to see my results. I got 295 results, and they're all listed down the main section of the page. They will be ordered by what the database, at what the database thinks is most relevant to my search terms unless I pick a different sorting option. At this step, I like to evaluate the number of search results I got. Was it hundreds or just a few? That might be a clue to knowing if this information will be easier or more difficult to track down. If I receive a ton of results, I might want to apply a filter over here on the left to narrow down to the most relevant results. If I receive too few, I might need to change my keywords and rerun my search. In this case, I think I might limit to trade publications under source type um, because I don't want to get any articles written by professors for an academic audience. Notice that by applying a filter, the number of results I get goes down. Next, we'll talk about the article's fields, how to actually pull up and read the documents in the database, and some time saving tips for working with your sources and saving them for later. This concludes part two of this tutorial.